Oh my god. Um, I don't even know how to start this video. But um, this is like seriously insane, guys. Like, you don't understand what happened the other day. Um, before I jump into saying anything, all I just want to say is that's really fucked up what the person did to me. Um, but it was a friend. And you guys understand right now what I'm about to say. A couple of days ago, one of my friends, like I used to hang out with, uh, contacted her through social media and told her when we were living in New York that I actually cheated on her. And I'm like, why would you do some shit like that? Why would you contact my wife 14 years later and wait to tell her some shit like that. Like, I feel like coming from a person that I used to hang out with is wrong. Like, you don't do shit like that. And plus, it's not even true. Like, why? I, I just don't understand why would that person do that right now, knowing that we got everything good for us. And he would just want to see that ruin. Like, now I got to deal with her questioning me if I ever did cheat on her or did anything behind her back and it's like i'm so in shock because i thought my friend would never do some shit like that it's like we used to hang out but we weren't clicking that much but we were cool like why would you do something like that now like why would you say some shit like that to her and it's, it's crazy like i don't even know what to say or to think like i don't i would have never expect that from that person and especially i just felt like maybe it was just jealousy and envy and that in that picture right there because We've been in New York for so long and like why wait now to tell her something like that and especially contact her when first of all the dude don't even know her like that. It's some crazy shit like the the way the world is guys like if you have someone like that that ever did that to you in your life it's just that's just cruel man that's just wrong like I feel like that person in overall just wants to see your relationship fail when they know you got something going good like why just do some shit like that. Guys I'm sorry if I'm just sounding like I'm saying the shit all over again it's just i'm just in shock i don't even know how she feels right now it's just crazy yeah i feel like i feel like if <laughs> like i don't know what to really think one i guess that's my like most biggest feeling um because like there's always that doubt that runs through your head and then you're saying to yourself like what if they're telling the truth and like we have been together for so long that like it puts me in so many different positions because what do i want to do like do i stay with that doubt and not knowing yeah but if it's a friend from and a long time ago i don't i don't even know why would you doubt and i know that we're super strong together and we've been together for so long that if it was um 14 years ago 13 years ago 12 years ago like how many years whatever years like would i even forgive like i i, I me personally i feel like i would have to forgive just because of like who i am and how i feel like i live my life not that it won't hurt, because it would. And it always, I don't know if it'll get better with time, but I would want to forgive for myself, not for you. And then, like, do, do I just stay? What do you mean you just stay? Like, I like, mean, it's not like- I, I don't understand, like, guys. Because I understand that it's, it's really all comes down to it. Like, I'm the one who has to deal with this. It's not just you. I know, but he, we talking about someone that just randomly got into your social media, just text you 14 years later and just said that like that right, that message right there, you should just shoot out the window and bury that message because honestly, one, I never did that. Two, it never happened. And three, like this is a friend that I barely even hang out with. And I just felt like it was just jealousy and envy. Like. When it comes down to it, guys, like we kind of felt like we might have ended up having to go through this one time or another. Just because we do, we are YouTubers and we are TikTokers 
we were at Gears. And when we first got together, like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everything was growing and getting bigger. And there were so many fights and arguments that we were aware of with people around us when it came to platforms that we were like, damn, I can't. And when we began YouTube, we made it like, you know, we spoke about it and we knew that it was a risk. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't even know why you're sitting there looking like you're thinking hard. Because I'm not, I'm honestly, not, because I, I, I just, I just don't understand why a person would do that, especially if you were friends, but especially go to you, like text you, like, bro, if you had something against me a long time ago, or you do got something against, hit me up, DM me, text me, like, what that got to do with her? People are going to You know, up. if you're going to make a fucking lie, like, be a man about your shit, like, why are you just going to lie? That's like some bitch shit, like, seriously, like, you don't do shit like that. And especially, like, I, I'm just saying, it's just hate and envy. Like, I know that person see what we doing. And they see that we being successful in our life. And we doing what we got to do for us. Me personally, and, I would never do that to anybody's relationship. And it's hate. Like, it's obviously hate. Like, you just don't do that to someone, guys. Like, but I can't expect any less from anybody else because of the fact that... People screw... Not everybody's me. So low Who sometimes. You? Like, bro, you could question... Like, you want to sit there and question... like. Are you a man or a kid? They like really, serious? Really? Like you really have nothing. Bring yourself so low. But play with other people's lives and emotions. It's and just like it's super emotional right now because, like, I can't even. I don't understand what I like. I would do to this dude right now if I seen him right in now. person because it's it's like it hurts, man, to know that this person was just mad cool. And like, I don't know guys, but Guys, like, don't yeah. think like right now, cause I am super emotional, I'm not crying, but I have cried. And we decided to do this video because we want, you know, you guys are a part of our lives and we want everybody to be on the same subject. Like, and I need you guys to protect me because Ooh. and tell Crystal, like I'm, I'm a good dude. Like, you know, I'm here for her and only her. And you guys support us so much, like, and show us so much love. Like, there's no one else. There's no one else that I want. And it's like, I just want to punch this kid in the face, to be honest, when I'm talking. And it's like, I felt like every, he just wanted to see us break up. And I want to thank her for just being strong. I know she's going through it right now. She's, like, got her doubts, like, if I did. Because it, it does hurt still. And it has someone thinking. But coming from someone that didn't be around my life for so like so long, like it should just wash it out the window and just go on with life. Because honestly, like I wouldn't want to sit here and ask her about her past if she did anything, you know. Because if she did, I don't know. I don't care. It's it's the past. It's, it's years, years by. She's changed. She's a different a woman. It's and different because it's. And that's why it makes it so difficult because of the fact that I know how we started and how rough it was when we first got together. And he's always been strong with me. I know you're a good guy, baby. I just, it's hard. It's really freaking hard when you first hear something and you just don't know. And um, you, I don't know. Like I just, it's so hard because a lot of times you think you can never, like they could never. Guys, you don't understand what went through my head when I saw the text. I'm like, and I thank her for actually just coming to me and, and showing me because she could have just hide it. But it's like, I looked at the text and I'm like, bro, serious? Like, it's like, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's just crazy, guys. Like, the way people work in life, the way they put themselves to be like cruel like you really have some cruel people in this world guys like and it's, it's not it's not cool to be like that man it's not it's like okay you do have your ups and downs where you be mean and it's like but like being mean all the time to people and treating people wrong and 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 not treating people the right way is it's not a right way to to do things guys like you know like sitting here and i don't want to get out out of character and i know i can but why would I scoop myself to someone's level, you know, to meet their standards? Like, nah, man, like, 
it's just crazy, bro. Like, but guys, we wanted to jump on here and let you know, like this, this. I had to let you guys know this story because yeah, it's insane. Like, real quick. if anybody in the comments could relate, just hashtag relate because it's it's just crazy, man. Like, I just don't understand. Like, I'm just gonna go continue living my life with Crystal and just act like I never even seen the message, guys, because I don't know what I'll do if I see this person in my face. To be honest, like. Just to know someone is trying to ruin your life and relationship, guys, like, and that you know 14 years you protect your relationship, and to have one person try to come and ruin it, it's just fucked up, like, seriously, messed up, man. Like, you just want to uppercut this person in the face so hard, like, it's like, I don't know. I'm sorry if you had to see that. I'll go through that, but... I just want to let you know on camera that I know for a fact I didn't do anything wrong and you are mine and always be, will be mine and that's it. So just bury that message because it never happened. Guys, like I said, we just wanted to jump on here because we know you guys are part of the family and we wanted to let you know what was going on. We wanted to get this stuff off of our chest because we wanted to let you guys know, guys, and we know that you guys are awesome and you're always doing good and positive comments down below. So um, please, guys, continue to show us love and support on us and we're going to do our part over here and just, you know, Keep us strong and stay strong and act like we never even seen that message. So, but yeah, guys, it's been crazy. So it's still in my head and it's still hard to leave, but I'm working on it. But guys, we are going to wrap up this video and me and Crystal got some talking to do. So we love you guys and keep watching us always. Thank you for all your support, guys. We'll see you in the next video. It's your boy, Chris. And you go, Crystal. And we are, guys. Peace.